Hello, you are watching EPTV News. I'm prompt and on time. And I'm proud to be here. It's exhilarating to be here again, isn't it, Proud? It most certainly is, Prompt. Well, enough small talk. Let's get to the headlines. <music> Students at Konken University Agriculture Department have genetically engineered a new species of tree. In a special ceremony, the tree was planted in the front of the mathematics department. Students at the math department named it trigonometry. There was an unusual wedding in Konkan last weekend. Two radio antennas were married. Friends and family of the couple said that the ceremony was nothing special, but the reception was amazing. A group of student chess players checked into the Kosa Hotel and were standing in the lobby discussing their recent tournament victories. After a while, the manager from the hotel asked them to leave. When asked for the reason, the manager said he didn't like listening to chess nuts boasting in an open foyer. Legal news now, the Walt Disney Company is suing the American space agency NASA. They are claiming that Pluto really belongs to them. A NASA spokesperson said that Disney was obviously taking the mickey. Thank you, Proud. Good job. Now let's go to our roaming reporters. Can you tell us what you think is the best way to prepare for exams? There's a skill that has to go with exam preparation, it's a, which is a skill that is going to make you successful in your future life that a lot of students seem completely unable to handle, and that is planning your time. Now, time planning is a skill which, if you take it seriously, Starting in, I don't know, perhaps M1 or M2, and you get a little better at it every year so that you're able to make a schedule. But, but the important thing about a schedule is you've got to keep to the schedule. The, the, the schedule has to be the way that you guide yourself towards your exams. Okay. Create a mind map of the topic that you're having a hard time with. If you put it down on paper so that you can see all the relationships, it helps you understand the topic. Mind maps are really valuable. They really are. Okay. Can you tell us what you think is the best way or to prepare for the exams? Okay, this is Teacher JJ's three rules that I think are very helpful. One, I think it's very good to ask teachers specific questions about what topics will there be inside the exam so that you can study exactly what you need to know. Also, my second rule I think that's very important is to read how many points there are for a question. So if you see a question and it says five points, you should be writing a lot of things. But if it's just for one point, then just write what you think is needed for answering the question. And my third rule is to go back after your answers, after you finish. Don't just leave the room after you finish. Go back and double check the questions and your answers and see if you have done the right thing. Okay, good ideas and thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. And can you tell us what you think is the best way to prepare for exams? For this final exam? Yes. Okay. At first, I gotta say, like, okay, um, how many hours left for you guys? If you have one hour, just stay cool, sleep, and rest. But if you have more time than that, like a week or two weeks before the exam, um, the first thing you gotta take vitamins, complex B or the vitamin Bs, and help you a lot about your brain system. And after that, try to catch up, like, every every topics in, in the class okay like 
<clears throat> um, work on drill. Let's see, a drill. Drill for the exam, drill for the practices, and also the exercise that your teacher gives you in the class. Because the exam should be in there, not something else. Because I teach you this one, but you read something else, it's not going to appear on the final exam, for sure. Okay. Well, that's very good ideas. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. Don't smoke, take vitamins, and also sleep early at night. Thank you. Well, that was incredibly helpful, wasn't it, Prof? It certainly was, Proud. Now let's check in with our wondering. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was very helpful, wasn't it, Prof? <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing, everyone. Okay, okay, he's laughing. I do not want to delete that. Well, that was very helpful, wasn't it, Prom? It certainly was, Proud. Now let's check in with our <laughs> now let's check in with our wondering weather person. What's it like out there? We have a new weather person starting today, right? Well, how much satellite time do we have left? One minute, 25 seconds. Hello, everyone. I'm reporting from an undisclosed location because EPTV won't let me read the weather. Well, here it goes. The weather today is 26 degrees Celsius with scattered cloud and the wind blowing from the west southwest. Time left. Any sign of the weather person? Nope. We're not going to make it, are we? Doesn't look good. The humidity is at 84% and the dew point is at 20 degrees Celsius. There is 100% chance of rain. Tomorrow, the weather will be cloudy with a chance of evening thunderstorms. Today, it will be hot. How difficult is that? Today, it will be hot. Anybody can read this stuff. Anybody. It's not rocket surgery. And that's the weather today. Satellite feed ends in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I would like to thank Miss Karin Yamada for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Where are you from? I'm from Japan. Wow. Why did you choose to study in Konkan Butiayon School? Uh, first, my family decided to move out of Japan because they wanted me to learn English and because my mom loved Thailand, especially Konkan City, we, so we decided to live in here. And because I heard that this school is the best school in this city, so I decided to study in Konkan Butiayon School. Mm. What are the main differences between Japanese schools and Thai schools? The main difference is that both teachers and also the students have more freedom than at Japanese school. Like, we can share our opinions to each other. Is, is there anything else different? Um, also the lunchtime. Jap at Japanese school, the school provides us the food and we cannot choose what to eat and we also cannot left any food that they provided but at here we can choose and buy and eat whatever whatever the food is we like and we can have we can enjoy which do you prefer here or japan um here because i have more fun here thank you so much thank you well that's the news today say goodbye proud goodbye yeah we're done <laughs> <laughs>